Hello, everyone. Today, I wanted to talk about Dr. David Sinclair and the interview that I caught him with with Mark Hyman. Now, Dr. David Sinclair is a professor over at Harvard University, and he's known for his anti-aging science. He actually studies the biology of aging, and most of his career has gone into anti-aging and how can we support not aging well. Now, before you click the video off, let me explain. I wasn't too interested in Dr. David Sinclair and his anti-aging science until I caught an interview between him and Mark Hyman. And there are a lot of similarities between anti-aging and someone who is sick or autoimmune like I am. And I started to listen and really pay attention into what he was saying and then drawing some parallels. And so I wanted to point that out to you in this video. So in the interview with Mark Hyman and Dr. David Sinclair, they were talking about his studies with anti-aging and some of the supplements that he takes. Now, one of the supplements that he mentioned was alpha lipoic acid. I didn't pay too much attention to it or think it was too big of a deal until he said why he takes that supplement. And the reason why is because he takes that supplement, he likes that supplement the most to support his mitochondria. Now, let me draw the parallels for you. With autoimmunity or someone that is sick like I am, it is thought that we have a mitochondria dysfunction, that something is off within the mitochondria, that they're not forming healthy, or we don't have enough, enough healthy mitochondria. Now, the studies are still out on that to really pinpoint what's going on with the mitochondria, but it is known that we have some type of mitochondria dysfunction. Now, alpha lipoic acid or ALA is the number one supplement that Dr. David Sinclair talks about to support your mitochondria. But the parallels didn't just stop there. So I started paying attention when he said, when we age, our mitochondria becomes less and less efficient because my mitochondria became less and less efficient in my early twenties or even before then when I started to get sick. So to support the mitochondria, I am going to try ALA and I'll talk about the dosage and how I'm going to try it here in a little bit. But the rest of the parallels that the reason I started paying attention to this is there are a lot of studies regarding alpha lipoic acid. One study in particular caught my attention. It's actually human studies on AIDS patients. But what came out of the study grabbed my attention because they were taking 600 milligrams twice a day, alpha lipoic acid or ALA. And what they found is that their glutathione levels doubled. Now they did do the testing against a placebo group and the placebo group did not have an increase of glutathione. Let me draw another parallel for you. With autoimmunity, our glutathione is often very, very low. I even have glutathione as a supplement to take to try to supplement mine, but ALA actually helps us in the mechanism to make more glutathione. And in the actual studies, their glutathione did increase, which grabbed my attention because I need mine to increase with autoimmunity. Things that help drive the glutathione down is leaky gut. I happen to have that. Food sensitivities. I also happen to have that. Sensitivity to metals. Hello, I have that too. And the list goes on and on. So I don't want to list them all, but glutathione is low. Mitochondria are not as efficient as they should be or somewhat broken down. And here we have autoimmunity me or you, if you also have autoimmune issues. So alpha lipoic acid grabbed my attention because it can help build better and stronger mitochondria. I'm hoping it will help. I've had the question for a year now, what supplement can I take to support mitochondria that would work the most or give me the most benefit? And Dr. David Sinclair thinks that's ALA. 
So I'm going to give it a try. He takes ALA to help with anti-aging, to not age as fast or as much, because as you age, the mitochondria become less and less efficient. So that's why he's taking it. I'm going to take it to help me along my wellness journey. I'm going to take it for six months, plot it along to see how I do. And if I notice any type of improvements or has my health improved in any way. Now it's often hard to try to see if a supplement is or isn't working. And I'm always switching supplements in and out. There's a few that I keep all of the time, but there are some that I continue to try and switch in and out because you don't know what is or isn't going to work. Now, what grabbed my attention is one, it supports mitochondria. I need mitochondria support because I'm autoimmune. And two, it did increase glutathione levels within the people that they did the test on. Now, it wasn't just one test. They've done actual multiple glutathione, or I'm sorry, ALA testing, not glutathione. They've done multiple ALA testing, looking to see what it helps with and what it doesn't help with. They've tried it on type two diabetes. They've tried it on AIDS patients. They've tried it on other types of autoimmune diseases, and they can't quite figure out where it actually helps the actual autoimmune disease. And that's where they need to spend a lot more time researching, but it does help support the mitochondria. They have figured that out and they have figured out that it does help increase your glutathione levels. And so that's why I'm willing to try it to see what it can do for me. It also helps with insulin sensitivity. It helps so that we can start to begin to accept more of the insulin that's floating around on our blood instead of repelling it. I hope that also does something for me in that area. But there are two forms of ALA and I wanted to talk about it. There's an R and there's an S. The R form is much more expensive. It about doubles or more than doubles in price than the cheaper version. The reason why is the R is more bioavailable to your body. It is thought that we are able to take it in easier and use it easier. However, Dr. David Sinclair takes the cheaper version. He doesn't see the need to buy the more expensive version. I am gonna try and test the cheaper version, not the more expensive version to see how I like it, what does it do, and can I get it to work for six months before I decide if it's a yes or a no for me. And during that time, I can test my glutathione levels to see, are they, are they increasing? Now, the studies were for six months before they saw, well, it's at the six month mark that they noted the glutathione levels had increased. They didn't check them early on. So they're not really sure as to how many months you have to be on it before glutathione begins to ramp up instead of ramping down. So it's best to take this ALA supplement on an empty stomach. That means when I first wake up, I take it with my morning supplements because it will fight with food to try to get the body to uptake it, which means you're going to upload the food and not so much the ALA or vice versa. And you're not going to have the benefit of both. So take it on an empty stomach. Now I'm going to take it two times a day. I'm taking 600 milligrams two times a day, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. And then the last thing at night. So it's at least two hours after I've had dinner. So that again, it's on an empty stomach, two to three, sometimes four hours after I've had dinner, I'll take the second dose. I am taking it staggered instead of taking it all at once because our body will take in what it needs at that time and then dump the rest. So you want to take it more than once a day if you're going to try it. Now, I'm not a doctor. I have no idea about medicine, supplements or anything else, but I am on a wellness journey. And that is what I'm hoping to accomplish with this channel is to talk about where I'm at, what I'm taking and how I'm doing at all times. Now, Dr. David Sinclair, I didn't love his messaging at first because it wasn't my type of market. 
I'm not into anti-aging or anything like that. I'm more focused on how can I become well? And Dr. David Sinclair definitely has some golden nuggets in that area. So if you ever come across them, pay attention to what he's saying and par- make sure you parallel it. Parallel, um, now I'm, my talking is starting to get a little bit crazy, but make sure you parallel it with autoimmunity and your health needs. Sometime and sometimes talking about anti-aging is very similar, like talking about autoimmunity because of the mechanisms that underlying that are malfunctioning for you to age or for us to get sick. So I hope that clears it up. I hope I paralleled it enough for you that you understand why I'm interested in ALA or alpha lipoic acid. And I'll see you guys in the next video.